Hey everybody, Aaron at Aaron's Trains. Been a while since I did any videos. It's uh, been summertime and kids are busy and busy life and uh, just wanted to post a quick video here. Started a new, for those of you who don't know, I work in the high voltage world, do power on the railroads. We do power for substations and transmission lines and we started a new project building a substation so I decided to buy the Walther's Northern Power, Northern Light and Power Substation kit. Been wanting to buy it, looked at it. Have another kit as well that I got at a train show. It's it's an older Atlas HO substation kit, which building substations for a living, it doesn't really look like one. So I'm gonna repurpose that into a switching station so I can still use it, but so I bought the the Walthers kits really uh, really a nice kit for those of you who haven't used Walthers kits it's uh, molded in all the all the parts and pieces it's easy um, this kit includes comes with fence and fence fabric so you know that'll be a little ways down the road but I figured I'd show you what I got going here base is in there you can see the raised sections there that i've painted those are uh, for the concrete pedestals um you know i got those and been painting those these parts here structures are in place just as they're drying you know i was i was pretty happy with the quality of this the detail is i mean you can see here from this transformer there's there's quite good detail for anybody that's been around a transformer. Um, I painted this transformer not the typical ANSI 70 color that you would see. I painted it a little bit darker just to kind of stand out some parts and pieces. Uh, you got the insulators and the bushings on there painted with a lighter gray and then have the aluminum colors on the tips. Um, some of these insulator holders you know you can see the insulators can't really see it from the video i'm sure but painted all the structure um, a galvanized color insulators are then aluminum and uh, a gray for the polymer insulators switches here going together on that structure but uh, it's been kind of fun i broke out some things out of the storage that's been there for a while and you know, I've got my old uh, testers rack. Um, had to buy some new paints. Some of those paints have been in my in my storage for about 20, 25 years. Took them out, shook them up, stirred them real well. They work great. Um, haven't quite got to the airbrush stage, but one of these days I will. And uh, well, I just wanted to show you. It's kind of fun. Brought, broke out a bunch of the old skills and hobbies um, but you know what when you've had long hot summer days and uh, you've got everything else going on in the world around you sometimes it's nice to dive into the old model and see what you can do I haven't decided yet I may actually build this I ordered the uh, Walther's transmission tower and also a distribution which will come out the other end of the substation there um, and I may not actually put this on the layout um, or at least this one I may build another one but uh, some guys that I work with that I thought that maybe I just build this substation model up and may just give it to them uh, it's just a little thank you for uh, the work they do for me and uh all the hard work i have my guys working a day it's sunday today and they've worked all day today in a substation uh for a customer and so just uh maybe build this up for one of my substation guys and i'll give them something just to put away throw away whatever they want to do with it who knows but i just want to get a quick video posted and hope everybody's doing well and we'll uh be back with some more train updates coming. Thank you. Bye.